And you? Uh, it's a new look girl and style mix of youth and experience. Do you feel it's important to try things out in this game? Um, I think we're at a stage where we're all gagging for a game and you uh, are judging constantly how, how preparation's going and trying to balance that out with a, with a, a side that's got the experience and the, the youth that you're able to put aside over the weekend and judge properly, you know? Um, there's, there's, I'm 100% sure uh, some individuals that I'll take the field as who will be saying to themselves that it's a big chance, an opportunity for me, so you've got to surround those people with good enough experienced players as well to be able to judge them properly, so we're looking forward to that. And they're playing very close to their starting team, it's really strong. Yeah. How important is it to get the win? Or is it more about experimenting? Oh, it's, 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 it's about the performance. I wouldn't say we're ex experimenting, you know. You, 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 win, you win World Cups because of the strength of your squad. So we're, we're trying to find out. Trying to find out about people that have done so well in the first place to get picked in the initial 42. And now they've got the opportunity to represent the group and they know the expectation of how we want to play and, and what's acceptable and what's not. So. They get to represent the group, as I say, first up, and we'll see how they go. And it's your first World Cup as a head coach. How much are you looking forward to it all? Are you excited? I am. I think it'd be fantastic. Um, I think what's coming up is, is going to be uh, super exciting. You know, if, if we can't get excited about uh, playing Italy this week and then going away on a training camp next week and then playing England the week after and then playing away against Samoa before we actually get to the World Cup, then we're in the wrong place, haven't we? You know, so the next five weeks is is super, and then what comes after that is even better. Thanks. Yeah. Um, and you know, Caelan Norris at seven position, we're not really too familiar with seeing him in. He was picked to play there for Leinster a couple of months back, but only about 20 minutes into the game, he switched back to number eight, so we didn't get to, to see much from there. What do you think he's bringing to that position, and what's his kind of skill set that? Uh, like, like, like all players, um, they can only be themselves and what we see in Caelan's game, um, doesn't matter what position that he, he plays, you know, he's, he's able to adapt and, and, and be himself within that position, you know, uh, and um, to, to, to add to that as well, as far as the, the, the roles as in a traditional seven, you know, we obviously will share our how uh, Caelan plays the game to how we want to play the game as a team as well, you know, and he fits the bill very well in, in that regard. There's a few different like combinations in this in the 15 of players who probably wouldn't be too familiar playing with each other. Is that a, a good challenge to be putting the players yeah, in? Yeah, but that's the that's the challenge of being an international player, isn't it? You know, um, we've we've had six weeks together, um, which we don't normally get. You know, we normally get. Um, 12 days before a Six Nations or from uh, before an autumn. So probably that probably correlates to about five training sessions. We've, we've six weeks together, albeit we've had a week off here and there, but um, we expect ourselves to be at our best with, doesn't matter what the combinations are, because we've had plenty of time to be able to make sure that we adapt to that. And you have three de potential Davidsons on the bench. One of them in particular, Kieran Frawley, is someone who's had to wait a good while and he's been unfortunate when injuries have fallen at bad times. As a coach, is it very pleasing to be able to give him his chance after waiting so long? Well, it is, yeah. He has, he has been unfortunate, but at the same time, he's, he's, he's trained real well and, and deserved the opportunity for, for, for a crack at it. And, and same for the, for, for the other two lads, you know. So, look, at, as, as you know, we've, we've had plenty of uh, debutants over the last few years. Um, it's super exciting for us all, and it's something that we'll celebrate this evening. I mean, the band, it's uh, Jacob Stockdale's first camp, I think, in two years. Um, I'm just wondering, what did you see from the camp? And if he returns to anywhere close to the player he was a few years ago, how much of an asset could he be? Well, I think we know the answer to, 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 to the second question, though, is he'll be a tremendous asset, you know, because, um, you know, big, powerful, skillful, big left boot. Um, was deadly for, for, for the try line, etc. You know, and uh, you know a few few setbacks injury wise and form wise, etc. He's been working his way back through that, but I feel that he has come into camp um, six weeks ago, wiping the, the the slate clean for himself and just putting his uh, his ears back and, and just going for it. So 
Um, what we've seen, uh, in, as far as that's concerned, transferring into uh, training and, and training under pressure, etc., has been has been great so far. Transferring that onto onto the game with the extra pressure of the build-up to the game, etc., and his own expectations is something that we'll look forward to to seeing him deal with over the next few days. And if I could ask about Tom Stewart as well on the, on the bench. Um, some people see it maybe as a straight battle between the two Ulster Hoopers for, for a place on the, on the, on the final squad. Uh, Rob obviously starts on, on the weekend, but what have you seen in his first full season for Ulster you know, with, uh, with Tom, his, his attributes and what he, what he brings to the game? Um, he's a proper rugby player and he's going to be, he's gonna be a, a great player um, uh, down the line. Um, He's growing constantly, um, as we've seen uh, through, throughout last season, you know, set piece wise. Um, he's going to get stronger and stronger and better and better with the, with the noise that he's, he's going to have um, with what he's getting uh, from, from Dan and the coaches. Um, as far as set piece concerned, he's it, it's, it's second to none up there. So you can see the growth there. And working with Rob every day is, is obviously going to be fantastic for him because the knowledge that Rob has got. And his willingness to be able to share that is fantastic. But then you put him in an environment where, where everyone's pushing to get better every day at international camp. You see some people sink and you see, you see some people uh, thrive on that and lap it up. And he's, uh, he's a silent assassin, you know, he's, he doesn't say much, but he's a, he's, a, he's a quiet achiever. And his confidence is, has been phenomenal um, over the last six weeks. So you've seen it grow. So he's going to be somebody for the future, there's no doubt. This is going to be your first match in a while, while Italy played last week. Yes. Uh, maybe have you seen the, the lineup Italy fielded for the team, uh, six players that played also last week. Is this going to be a factor in your opinion? And which are the threats to avoid in order not to sleep on a banana skin? Apart from the old cliche with Six Nations in this particular period, your first match and Italy has already played and a couple of players will be Well, there. first match, and as I say, we expect ourselves to be at our best. That's the pressure that we always do. And do we achieve that? Not always. So that's, that's a challenge, but it's no excuse. Um, so we expect that of ourselves. Um, and then you, you're right, it's always nice to be able to have dealt with um, uh, the dealings of a couple of days before a match and then what it's like building up to the match, etc. And, you know, reviewing the match and having your own opinion of your own game and recovering properly and thinking, I'm glad I've got a chance next week again. You know, that, that obviously helps. But at the same time, um, it's a test match for us. You know, people talk about it being a warm-up game, but... There's no real warm-up games when you're playing at the Aviva Stadium for, for Ireland, you know? Um, whether it be the first test match of a, uh, um, a summer series or not, this is a, a test match that we will judge our players on properly. Yeah. Last Thanks. two questions to the section, Keane and then Murray. Uh, I mean, where is Johnny at in terms of his recovery and what's even like behind the scenes? I suppose no one that he's not going to be playing at this moment. Recovery as far as from the injury? Yeah. Yeah, no, he's, um, he's been all systems go right from the start. Um, I mean, we didn't do much contact at the start anyway, so he it was, it was um, building through that. I think he had um, maybe uh, two weeks before he was able to do that at the start of pre-season. So he's not missed a session. He's not, he's not dropped out of anything, etc. You know, he's, he's back fully kicking, etc. And uh, if there was a game two or three weeks ago, he was able to play, no doubt. And what's, just his, what's he like behind the scenes in terms of the suspension? He's not exactly able to play. Oh look! I mean, obviously he's, he's he's disappointed not to be able to play in these games, but you know it takes a day or two, doesn't it, to get your head around it and what's the plan and and keep pushing forward. So he's in great form. Last question for the broadcast section, please. Really? He, um, how is Jack Perry been in camp? I'm always like to see from him on the side. Uh, uh, he's been excellent, um, as you would imagine, and you know let's. Let's be fair, if you, if you were sat in a press conference for any, for any nation at this moment in time, everyone's saying that pre-season is going swimmingly uh, well, etc. But how that transfers into um, a performance is, is, is different. So he's been going great. I, I've seen, I've seen uh, his confidence grow, obviously, from uh, what happened there at Munster. I've been able to navigate and help navigate his team through those difficult periods at the end and get some success. I've seen his confidence grow. Um, the selection 
uh, at the start of the week for for all the players is interesting, isn't it? Because as coaches, you you're seeing everyone um, really get stuck in and uh, I'm, I'm really driving to get better every single day. And then the minute that selection comes, it's a different week, isn't it? As far as managing the team and and, and being the, the the main general as far as Jack's concerned. So uh, we've been keeping a close eye on that, and he's been. Excellent so far, excellent so far. Day off today, in this evening, captain's run tomorrow, hopefully the, the confidence continues.